In this video, we'll take a look at device mode, which provides control over the selected device. Each column of buttons functions as a fader for controlling a parameter of the selected device. And these faders use smoothing to avoid abrupt changes in value. As far as navigation, with the first two buttons, if the device is a rack, these will navigate between the rack's chains. The next two buttons navigate left and right between devices. When select is held down, these will navigate between tracks. If the selected device has more than eight parameters, these first two buttons will navigate between banks of eight parameters. Now you might have noticed, as I was switching between banks, the matrix was changing around quite a bit. The reason for that is because the button faders here are intelligent. Their orientation, color, and function changes depending on what they're controlling. Here the faders are controlling band on and off, which just have two states, on or off. So you just have one button for controlling those parameters. Here the faders are controlling frequency, which is a typical continuous parameter, and so you have a typical button fader. Here the faders are controlling gain, which is a bipolar parameter, so you have a pan style button fader. And here the faders are controlling filter type, which is a multi-option style parameter, and so you have just two buttons to increment and decrement through the options. When the select button is held down, you'll switch to an alternate form of parameter control. The two buttons in the center of the column can be used for fine-tuning the parameter. The button at the top of each column will reset the parameter back to its default value. And the button at the bottom of each column will delete automation that's been recorded for the parameter. The top two side buttons will hot swap between presets for the selected device. This button will show or hide the browser. The bottom button will lock device mode to the selected device. This button will turn the device on or off. When select is pressed, this button will reset all parameter values back to the default value. And when delete is pressed, this button will delete the device. 